and nice return by Wittenberg for Franklin. Herzl with the tackle. No gain on the play, second and ten for the Sabres. Stavanger to Stauber. Give me last name. Chavez with the tackle. Gain of three yards, third and seven. Nice pump by Takarian. And the helmet will start at the 15 yard line. Johnson with a nice gain from Hillman, about seven yards, second seven. Brad Tobin with the tackle. Looks like enough first down by Haley. I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. I right Tackle by Simmons. Hillman, first and ten. Grasshoff with a gain of about four. Hanson with a tackle. Ziegler with a tackle.
Gold is out.
Touchdown of the game, and Austin Geiger, a, a, a real good kick, I might add. I made the extra point, but um, it, it, just my opinion again, it's it getting a little ugly on the Joliet sideline here. Mistake, penalties, not enough manpower. I'm gonna go check tomorrow's box score, but I think that negative yards in the third quarter, um, and it's starting to show and uh, getting a little ugly. Um, not sure which way this is going to go, but 17-7 right now, Franklin Sabres on top. Well, Mike, you gave the, the coaching record of their present coach tonight, which is just tremendous, and I talked to Mike a little bit in our audience about Cody Gillespie, their legendary football coach who uh, won so many games at Joliet Catholic, but that would be a wonderful win for Going back to Cody Gillespie, I think I mentioned his son might have ended up in high school, or might have ended up in college, but either way, he was 80 years old, and he was calling the offensive coordinator calling the place for a Griffin High School and state championship football game. Now, I'm a lot younger than that. I get a lot going from the locker room to the field, but they have a guy like that calling plays, so you know that there's quite a tradition at Joliet Catholic. That's why it would be an excellent win if Franklin could win that yeah, game tonight. Yeah, good point, Coach. You're our listener. Right now, is on the Franklin sideline for the first half, and I'm going to start making my way over, and I think Coach Brown is the guy we're going to be looking for at the end of this game. You know, it's interesting, Mike. What a Golski from Worcester, oh, 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 senior.